So the first thing I'm going to start off with is the lenses and the primer. So I'm going to apply the lenses first. And then taking the primer, I'm going to blend that into my skin. Once that's blended in, I'm going to be using two different things. I'm going to be using the BB cream, and then once that's blended into my skin, I'm going to be using a concealer which is completely the wrong skin tone for me, but that's fine because it's going to help for the overall look. So once I've blended in my BB cream, I'm then going to use a concealer, line along the temples, just underneath the cheekbones, and then also along the jaw, and blend that out. Make sure that you really thoroughly blend it out because even though this is going to help for the look, if it isn't blended, it's not going to look right, so you want to make sure that that's blended. With Sugar Pill to Lumai, I'm going to take that and line right down the centre of the nose, also in the centre of the face and along the cheekbones, and then we're going to be doing a bit of an S shape down the face, so a bit on the chin and make sure that it's blended out. Once it's blended out, we're going to attach the crown, and it's quite simple to attach this. First of all, you want to place it on your head, obviously. Figure out where you want it. And then with some string or any kind of ribbon, we're going to wrap it round through the parts at the top. And we're going to do this twice and then tie it at the back of your head. Obviously, we're going to tie this a little bit neater later on, but that's how we're going to leave it for the moment. For the eyebrows, I'm going to be using a concealer, which is pretty close to my skin tone. And I'm going to take this right through the brows to make them a little bit paler. I'm not terribly fond of covering up my eyebrows with scar wax or anything like that. So to cover them up, I'm just going to be using a concealer. And now with the prosthetic attachments that I made, I'm going to be using these to cover the eyebrows. All I'm going to be doing is that wherever my eyebrows aren't, that's where I'll apply the glue. So no glue actually touches my eyebrows. For the makeup, we're going to be using three different colours. We're going to be using a light pink, which we're going to dust all over the upper lid and the lower lid. A darker brown right into the crease and a little bit on the outer corner as well, bringing it all the way underneath the eye. And finally, we're going to finish off with just a slightly darker colour keeping that on the outer corner of the eye before finishing off the loom eye again on the centre of the lid and from the inner corner. Now we're going to be using a bit of face paint though of course you can use black eyeshadow as well and we're going to be using this to make the prosthetics on the face look a little bit more interesting by creating textures around where we've applied the prosthetics. So any little patterns that you feel blend in nicely or really complement the shapes, we're going to add those. And then also any little areas that the latex might not have covered very well or didn't attach well to the glitter, cover that up with the face paint too. Along the centre of the nose I'm also going to add a few more dots. And you can add these in various places wherever you feel it complements the design. Bringing it all the way up till it comes very close to the crown. I'm also going to be applying a little attachment on the lower lip. And then from the nose I'm going to bring this all the way around until we get right here create a few more dots spreading out from it and we're going to do two of these so both of them spreading from each other and make sure it's even on either side right here on the nose we're going to be using a very light brown just to contour slightly or going over with Lumi and just doing small little dots which you'll only really see when you move in the light but it just helps the design look so much more finished we're also going to be doing this on the forehead as well once you've finished whatever's left on your brush we're going to apply this right on the centre of the lid and you don't have to be neat with this, just really roughly apply it with the brush. Take that same loose powder and we're just going to run it along the cheekbones before finishing off with some rhinestones. I'm going to be using three larger rhinestones right here and then also one right on the outer part of the eye and then finish off with smaller rhinestones all leading up towards the nose. Once the clue is dried and you've applied them everywhere you want, we're going to be going back to the nose with the face paint. But again, you can use black eyeshadow if that's what you prefer. We're going to create a line pointing down towards the lips. Also, don't forget to finish off with some false eyelashes right on the upper lid. And we're just going to do some very small, delicate lashes, nothing particularly overpowering. And to finish off for the lips, what we're going to be doing is using a pout paint. Create two lines upwards. We're finishing one very strong line right on the lower lip. Blend it all out before outlining everything with Lumi, bringing that same shadow along the collarbone, finishing off with a few rhinestones. And that's it, you're done.